What's up Team Review Zone? So today we're taking a look at the brand new Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus bolt cutter. They say you can cut up to 3 8 of an inch medium to soft materials and up to a quarter of an inch in hard materials. We're going to push it harder than that. Let's get this review started. So you may have seen me post on Instagram and Twitter about the bolt cutters. We have them here. Ryobi says this cuts up to 3 8 of an inch medium to soft materials and then quarter of an inch of hard materials. But we're taking it to the limit. We're going to push this thing as hard as we can. We're going to cut chain. We're going to go half inch on some lags. We're going to cut some hardened steel locks and then my nemesis. Er, the American lock. I tried cutting through this with the Milwaukee bolt cutters. It just did not make a dent. The shackles made out of boron. It is very strong. If I can cut through this, I will be very impressed. So these bolt cutters weigh 5.2 pounds. Now the jaws on here are hot forged steel. Hardened steel mechanisms for stronger cuts. All in all, it definitely feels pretty solid up in front here. Now again, you can use any 18 volt Ryobi One Plus battery on this. We are going to use the Beastly 6.0. Now this feels pretty balanced. It's a little bit heavier in the front, which I would expect, and a clear line of sight while cutting. Now you got two different buttons down here. One is to close the jaws, one is to open the jaws. Very simple to do and it really cuts down on the fatigue of the fingers and the hands by using manual bolt cutters. And FYI, the cotton candy culottes from Dunkin' Donuts are to die for. Alright, so let's pop in our 6.0 and we're just going to start cutting things up. Now again, the cut capacity on this is 3 and an eighth inch of medium and soft materials. And then you got the quarter inch of hard materials. We are going to go above and beyond. We're just going to start chopping everything. See what this thing can handle. I'm going to turn this volume up here a little bit and let you hear it. And we are going to do is cut a quarter inch bolt here. It's a softer metal, shouldn't give us any problem. Let's see what it does. All right, cut through very easy, just like I expected. Now, here you go with some standard chain. The metal's a little bit harder, goes through very easily on this. And what's nice is you can control those jaws simply by hitting that button. All right, now we're gonna cut through your basic $9 master lock. This is also hardened steel, you can see, goes through no problem. It actually works really good on the hardened steel. Now again, I mean, that's just your basic cheap lock that you would buy at the deeps, but it was effortless. I mean, it went right through, so how can I complain about that? All right, now we have a half inch galvanized bolt. Right now I'm actually pulling down on that trigger. It's going through and yeah, it went down through it. You can see, let's try the stainless steel lag half inch. Now again, this is not really built for this. I just wanted to see if it would go down through. You can see it is struggling a little bit. Uh, I am hitting the button, I'm releasing and then I am going again and it cut. Pretty, uh, pretty surprising. And now my nemesis. It beat me once, it shall not beat me again. Hard and steel boron, American lock. Let's see if it goes through. Can I get a what? All right, let's try the other side here. I gotta be honest with you, I can't believe it actually went through that. It doesn't look like much, but that shackle is tough. I tried and tried with the Milwaukee bolt cutters, just didn't do anything. Let's try one more here. Now, after we just cut that American lock, you can see there is a little bit of damage on the jaw right there. A little bit of a gouge there, but exact same thing happened to the Milwaukee bolt cutters, and those didn't even have half the pressure applied that these did here. Those blades can be replaced if needed. All you gotta do is remove the bolts right there and slide some new ones in. And even cutting the things that we were not supposed to cut with it, they still held up pretty well. Now, as far as it goes with hardened material, I think anything up to a quarter inch, you're fine. Chain, locks, 
not an issue. Wire shelving, I don't think you have an issue. I mean, it cut through everything I wanted it to cut through. Some was easier than others, but it still did what it needed to do, and I think we put it to the test. Now, as far as it goes with speed, they are a little bit slower, so if you are cutting a lot of fencing, it might take you a little bit longer than it would a manual pair. There you go, all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I think it did an extraordinary job. If you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe. Check us out at www.toolreviewzone.com, and we will be back with more videos soon.